What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today we're discussing again about downgrades because finally TeamStar released a tool called Future Restore where is the, um, basically is his Prometheus method for downgrading. Remember when I told you in one of my videos, actually two of my videos uh, right here, how to save and why you should save your SHSH2 blobs? Well, this is why I told you in this video, in these videos right here, this one for Mac and this one for Windows, I told you a tool called Prometheus will be released in order for you to be able to downgrade uh, any 64-bit device to um, any iOS you saved blobs for. So at that time I told you to save your Tempo 1.1 1 .1 blobs as I have them right here. This one, I don't know for uh, what device is this one, but I'm going to, to attempt later to um, uh, open it. Right, so uh, why uh, why this works and how this works? You probably know that Apple does not let you uh, go back on a version and um, they use signing window and SHSH blobs. Here on this article on the iPhone wiki you can read more about the um, SHSH blobs and which are signed and which are not. As you can see the iOS 9.3.5 at this point is signed for iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad mini, iPhone 4s and iPod touch 5G or 5th generation while all the rest are closed until iOS 10.2. So basically Tempo 1.1 which is jailbroken right now by QWERTY Worry Up and we discussed about this jailbreak right here in all these videos in here. Uh, it's no longer signed so you cannot uh, downgrade. Well you can if you use Future Restore OS X created by Timstar. Well he discussed about this tool, he released it in, um, this is a video demonstrating the tool uh, and he released it yesterday basically on December 28 and also he had a talk right here you can see it if you um, if you want he had a talk on uh, 33c3 about how downgrading works and how Prometheus works right so let's just go into it what would you need in order to put this in practice you need to go in here at first on the iPhone wiki to firmware and you need to down download to IPSWs. If you saved your SHSH blobs, this little file right here, when I told you back uh, one week ago uh, for your device for iOS Tempo 1.1, then you are good to go for the moment. If you did not, this will not work for you and I'm going to explain why. But just let me uh, show you. At first, we're, we're not going to downgrade in this video, but if you want me to make a uh, in-detail tutorial on how to do this with Prometheus and uh, this method. I'm going to make a separate tutorial which is in-depth and shows exactly how this works. But I'm going to show you what assets you need to gather in order to, to downgrade. First you need to download the IPSWs. You're going to create a custom-made firmware. This is extremely close to the iCloud bypass method. It's not the same but it's close as method so you should be able to do it. Right, so what you need to do? I'm going to try to downgrade for example an iPhone 6. You need to, down, to download the iOS 10.2 IPSW from here and the iOS 10.1.1 from here for which you had the bloops. Make sure it's the one for which you had the bloops because there are two iOS 10.1.1 iterations. The first one is uh, 14B100 and the second one is 14B150 and there are different bloops for each of them, right? So make sure you download the IPSW for which you had the bloops. After you, you have that. I'm not going to do that now because it will take time but I'm going as I said to make a tutorial. You need to put them right here in this folder. Simply drag the IPSW in this folder and you need to find your SHSH blob depending on where you saved it and put it in here. Again without this blob it won't work. Now let me explain why. At first the blobs are not working from a device to other. I got a question from many of you in my previous videos, in those right here about how to downgrade uh, either on Windows or on a Mac and some of you told me, well, uh, I forgot to, to downgrade my device. Can you please upload your blobs or can I use the blobs of my friend? No, unfortunately you cannot do that because what a, uh, an SSH blob is, is basically a uh, signed hash of the components plus the ACID. 
Now, in order to better understand this, it's good to go on the iPhone wiki and search the terms yourself. So if you search for the ACID, it's basically standing for Exclusive Chip ID or Electronic Chip ID. It doesn't really matter what it means, it's a chip ID. And being a chip ID is unique for every unit. You can see right here, it's unique for every unit. This is all you need to know about this. In order to understand that my SSH bloops will be uh, SHSH bloops will be different than yours because of that difference in the chips, which are unique. Right. So this means that if you don't save your SHSH bloops when prompted, it won't work for you. Right. But do you need a jailbreak in order to do this? Yes and no. There are two possible scenarios and I'm going to show you. The first one, I'm going to open the application to show you what it requires. The first one would require you to have a jailbreak and from Cydia to go and get Nonce Enabler. That would be pretty simple, would be pretty easy, will work from the first time and it won't take time too much. But you don't have a jailbreak on 10.2, right? If you have one, tell me. But what you do if you don't have one? There is a solution and this guy also demoed it right here. And this is why I say it's extremely close to the iCloud bypass method because it's basically an attack. It's not an end attack, it's a nonce attack. A nonce, uh, you can go on the, uh, on the iPhone wiki and search for what nonce is. Basically a string of numbers. You can see probably from his video right here. You see these lines, this one for example starting with C2, 8, 4, uh, B1, F6 and so on and ending with B1 right here or BF, whatever is that. Uh, that's a nonce. That little string of numbers and letters form a nonce and is generated uniquely and randomly by the device when you're trying to restore. So how the restore process works? Uh, the restore client, for example iTunes, tell the device, you know what, I need to restore you. Well, the iPhone sends back this nonce so that iTunes can stitch this nonce and the um, app ticket together and form a signed version of iBEC, iBSS, iBoot and any other file that has to be restored. Either way, it won't work. That's why you cannot downgrade because when you're trying to downgrade, you no longer get the um, uh, SHSH blobs and those nonces are no longer uh, matching and so on. That's how Apple prevents you from downgrading, right? So um, his program basically attacks the device and simply reboots it over and over and over and over again in recovery mode in order to generate different app nonces from the device. As you can see, he generated a couple of them in here. And I remember on 3.3 uh, C3, he said that he tried um, for a couple of um, good minutes and he generated 2000 nonces until he got a match. Now, why you need to get a match? In your SHSH file, there is already a nonce saved. In order to make your SHSH file to be able to restore your IPSW that was modified, the nonce has to match the one sent by device. Now, there is something he uh, named the, uh, basically, a, um, a nonce collision, which basically means that the same nonce is generated again by the device. It's a rare uh, occasion, but it does work and does not need a jailbreak. Again, I'm going to detail these on my future video about how to, to work with this, but basically the process would be simple. You call the application, you write dash T and you need to, sorry, you need to load in here the um, SHSH right here. And why, sorry, why you need to, to get two IPSWs? The first one is required in order to get the baseband and the SEP. Those two cannot be restored, uh, cannot be downgraded, sorry. Which means that you're going to use a signed version. For example, we're going to combine iOS 10.1.1, but we're going to get the um, iOS 10.2 baseband and iOS 10.2 SEP or Secure Enclave processor that are already signed because iOS 10.2 is signed and put them in iOS 10.1.1. Then using this, um, this known collision method, we're going to restore the custom-made farmer. 
Again, I'm going to show you this in other video. Also, the application has, if you want to try it before that, the application has two options to use latest set and latest basement. Do not use them. The theme star himself said that those are not stable enough and may cause bad restore. Do not use them. Simply take the um, SEP and the basement from the uh, firmware folder of your IPSW. So this is basically it. This is how it works. You have the link in the description as well as uh, the link for the talk in order to understand better how downgrades with custom made firmware work. And um, I'm going to make a tutorial. If you want, tell me in the comment section down below. And I'm going to make a full tutorial on how to downgrade if you save your SHSH blobs. Right, so this is basically it, guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this app and whether or not you need a tutorial on how to downgrade. And peace out.